Hello, my fellow humans. Welcome, 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 one and all. Today we are playing It Moves. Now, recently I've been wanting to get into the horror game for a while now. Um, trying to get a feel for it right now. You know, trying to do like little baby games right now. And then once I get the new setup, and now I keep talking about this. But I promise you, I will get, I will get the face cam. I will get the, the better computer. I will get a lot of things better. And then you guys will see my honest reactions and my horrible, my horrible editing skills and stuff like that. I promise you guys, though, it will come. I'm not quite sure when. I hope recent. I, I'm working on the money for it right now. I have enough. I have semi enough. I'm missing about uh, 300 more dollars. But don't worry, guys. I got this. Anyway, sorry to be rambling, but let's get started with the game. It moves. Bedtime. Bedtime is supposed to be a happy event for a tired child. For me, it was terrifying. While some children might complain about being be, being put to bed before they have finished watching a film or playing their favorite video game, when I was a child, nighttime was something to truly fear. Somewhere in the back of my mind, it still is. This is me. Okay, moving now. A poster from the movie. I got I got it from my brother. Full of toys and stuff. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of awkward type playing. Unless, hold on. Okay, never mind. I could. It's a bunk bed. I sleep on top. Okay, it's a wolf. Okay, let's just move out. I'm a, I'm gonna head out. I cannot prove that I what happened to me was objectively real. But I can swear that what I experienced was genuine horror. A fear which in my life, I'm glad to say, has never been equaled. Has never been equaled. And I will relate it to you. All now, all now I best I can make of it what you will. But I'd be glad to get it off my chest. Uh, hey buddy. Hi. This is father. Hey dad. No, no talk to dad. I can't remember exactly when it started, but my apprehension towards falling asleep seems to be correspond with me with my being moved into a room of my own. His mom. This is my mother. Hi mom. She got here a man with a mustache. Ooh. I can't grow a mustache. Alright, so you're blocking that way. What if I go through here? What's here? Uh, this is my brother's room. He told me yesterday to keep out of the room that we both had shared. Until then, I was 8 years old at the time. And until then, I had shared a room quite happily with my older brother. As is perfectly understandable for a boy 5 years my senior. For a boy 5 years. My, my senior, my brother, eventually wished for a room of his own, and as a result, I was given the room at the back of the house. As my brother was given a new bed, I was given bunk beds, which we used to share. While I was upset about sleeping on my own, I, would, I was excited at the thought of being able to sleep in the top bunk, which seemed far more adventurous to me. Oh. So... Don't go pulling out too much stuff now. It's bedtime. So you're talking to me now. Will you talk to me? How do you like your new room? Soon you'll be sleeping alone for the first time. You guys want me to sleep bad. Hey, bro. What you doing, bro? Slock, stupid, bro. Okay. Hi. 
All right, it's bedtime. Already? <clears throat> yes. Adults need their sleep, you see. You'll be sleeping alone for now, for the first time. You excited? Yes, Mom. I, I don't sound too excited. All right, I'm turning off the lights now. Good night. Good night. Oh, hell no. Chapter 1, Cave. Wow, alright, this escalated to a cave very quickly. Save? Uh, yes? Where am I? What is this place? What the hell is that? Is that a rat? Is that a flying mosquito rat? This kid's imagination is wild. Oh no, nah, there's a skull in here. I wonder what's cooking. I don't. Why would you ask that? Oh, why do you move? Stalking is such a wrong word. I prefer to think of it as intense research on one individual. By the way, your missing sock is under your bed with me. Just kidding. That's creepy. Oh. A cold, unwelcoming breeze comes from the bottom of the stairs. Uh, I mean, I don't want to, but we're going to have to go down. Oh no. What's going on? What is this? A weird mushroom looks poisonous. Okay. There's something here. I see it glistening. Can't move. What's going on? Weird mushroom. I can't move. Okay, that doesn't sound too safe. I'm out. I'm gonna head out. Okay, what the fuck was that? Oh, no. Oh, it's a puzzle. Okay, hold up. Okay, so I got those four up. What do these do? Two down. There. Oh no, that really... Oh no, I had a face. No, I don't want to look back. Oh, God, that, that actually didn't scare me that bad. Shaky, shaky. Shaky, shaky. Am I walking that slow? Yeah, I am. Ooh, what's going on? Oh, what is that? No. Mom's not gonna be here, is she? No one's gonna be here. Oh, they are here. Mom. Mom, I had a bad dream. It's 
sweetie, what's wrong? I had a bad dream. Oh, that's too bad, sweetie. I'll be up in a minute. We can eat breakfast together. Alright, hurry up. Go change your clothes and I'll be right there. Aw, oh, such a nice mom. Dad! Dad, do you love me? Okay. Sounds like my real dad. Wait. <laughs> uh, no need to go in here right now. What was that? I shouldn't go outside right now. Bro? It's locked, stupid bro. Alright. Now I change. And so another the day started, it was a day of little importance to our story. I won't bother you with details, the one thing I remembered is that even though I played with friends like I always did, I somehow still felt very lonely. I didn't enter my new room until later that night. It was time to go to sleep again. Oh god, no. You do not make it better with the arrows. Actually, what if I... Mommy told me to go straight to bed. Mommy, I don't want to go straight to bed. Bed is scary. Uh, uh, face the wall. Okay. Chapter 2. Labyrinth. Sure. buttons okay oh that is unpleasant that's unpleasant okay wait so this one sounded off wait why is there a smiley face Oh, wait, maybe the smiley face is the indication? Yeah, sad face. Smiley face. Didn't change anything. change anything I gotta do it again right And a corp. I wonder what's that about. These are way too tight spaces, man. I hope nothing. What it what is that? What is that? That's a poster. Is that hi? Okay, this is all right. Oh, hey, hi. Eek. Okay, hi. Instruction on how to use a fire extinguisher. Ooh, this is giving me mad chills. Nothing of interest, I think. 
I don't want to touch you. Hi, you're getting a little too close. Oh man, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Do I have to touch you guys? Alright, risk it for the biscuit. Yeah, that's a terrifying face. I'm going faster now. I don't even know where I'm going. Um. Hello? Excuse me? You want to run by that? Blah, blah, blah. You want to talk to me again? That gave me chills. When you awaken from a deep sleep to something moving or stirring, it takes a few months for you to truly understand what is happening. The fog of sleep hangs over your eyes and ears when you're lucid. Something's moving, there's no doubt of that. At first, I wasn't sure what it was. Eventually, everything was dark, almost pretty black, where there was enough light creeping from the outside to outline that room. Two thoughts had appeared in my mind simultaneously. The first thought that my parents were in their bed. Because the rest of the house lay both in the darkness and silence. The second thought turned to the noise, a noise which had obviously awakened me. That was it, bed sheets wrestling in the dark and someone's breathing. As if disturbs as if some disturbed sleeper was attempting to get all get all too comfortable in the bottom bunk. I lay there in disbelief, thinking that the noise was either either my imagination or perhaps just my pet cat finding somewhere comfortable to sleep, spend the night. It was then that I noticed my door shut as it had been. I'd fallen asleep. Perhaps my mom had checked in on me and then the cat had sneaked into my room then. Yeah, that must be it. I turned to my face, closing my eyes. The vain hope that I could fall back to sleep. As I moved, the rustling noise from under me let me ceased. I thought that I had disturbed my I must have disturbed my cat. I quickly realized that the visitor in the bottom bunk was much less mundane than my pet, trying to sleep and much more sinister. As if alerted to and disgruntled by my presence, the disturber they began to toss and turn violently, like a child having a tantrum from their bed. I could hear the sheets twist and turn increasingly ferocity. Fear then gripped me, not like a subtle scent of an ease that I had expected earlier, but now potent and terrifying. My heart raced as my eyes panicked, scanning the almost impenetrable darkness. I let out a cry. As most young boys do, I instinctively shouted on my mother. I could hear something stir on the other side of the house. But as I began to breathe a sigh of relief that my parents were coming to save me, the bed among suddenly started shaking violently as I gripped on an earthquake, scraping against the wall. I could hear the sheets below me thrashing around the torment by malice. I did not want to jump down to safety as I feared the thing in the bottom bunk would reach out and grab me, pulling me into the darkness so I stayed there, white knuckles clenching my own bank, a shroud of protection. The wait seemed like an eternity. What's wrong? Did you have a bad dream? I cried. My mother consoled me. Tears of fear followed by relief and streamed down my face. Yet, through all the horror and relief, I did not tell her why I was upset. I cannot explain it, but it was as though whatever had been in that bunk would return. Even if I even as so much as spoke of it. Whether that was true, I did not know. As a child, I felt as though unseen malice remained close and listening.
My mother laid in an empty bunk, promising to stay there until morning. I remember the next day wanting to go anywhere, be anywhere, but in that suffocating room. It was a Saturday and I played outside quite happily with my friends. Although our house was not large, we were lucky to have a long, sloping garden in the back. We played there often, as much as much of it as much of it was overgrown, we could hide in the bushes. Climbed in the huge sacamore tree which towered above all else, imagined in ma easily, easily, and easily imagined ourselves in the throes of the grand adventure. As funny as it was, unconsciously my eye would turn to a small window in my room. Ordinarily slight and innocuous. But for me that thin ba boundary was looking glass to a strange coat pocket of dread. Outside the lush green surroundings of our garden filled with the smiling faces of my friends. Inside the feeling of something in that room watching me play waiting for the night when I would be alone eagerly filled with hate. It may sound strange to you but by that time my parents ushered me back into that room for the night I said nothing. I didn't protest, I didn't even make an excuse as to why I couldn't sleep there. I still felt that thing would be enraged if I so much as spoke of it. Another night came. Chapter 3 Factorized Satan? Alright guys, that's where I'm going to leave it there for today. I'm, I'm really enjoying this game. Uh, it re it's Believe it or not, it's giving me chills. Maybe it's because I'm playing this at night, in the dark, but it's giving me a lot of chills guys, and it's insane. Uh, but I'm kind of hungry, and I'm sorry for ruining it there, but don't worry, this will be uploaded. Uh, probably again tomorrow But thank you guys so much for watching. Please like share and subscribe if you want to be notified when I upload ring that bell icon and Remember I love you guys all right Anyway, you guys have a good one be safe adios